Hello, uh, Happy New Year. My name's James. If you don't uh, know me, my name's James. I'm one of the principals here at First Financial. Uh, and for those of you that do know me, uh, hello uh, and Happy New Year if we haven't spoken. Uh, and what a wild ride it's been on share markets for the start of this year. Uh, as I'm recording this video, the Aussie share market's down about 2.5% uh, for today being Tuesday. And I wanted to just capture a video for you to just talk you through what's going on. Uh, so there's some kind of Russia-Ukraine stuff going on uh, there, which you know, we'll wait and see see what happens. But but by, but the major thing that's going on at the moment is interest rates. So uh, in your meetings with either me, with Paul, or with Steph, we've all been talking about the same things uh, for the last few months. We all have as a business here at First Financial, uh, and it's the approaching uh, rising interest rates, particularly uh, on on the US side of things. So you'll remember uh, for the meetings that we've all had with you over the last six months or so that we've been talking about uh, this approaching rising interest rate environment uh, that we think share markets are looking pretty fairly priced or fully priced. Uh, and we've been pretty active in taking some money out of share markets. So you'll also recall late last year, uh, we sent out an, an email a communication to you or we spoke about it, uh, adjusting your asset allocation, that mix between what you've got in defensive investments and what you have in growth investments, all those more share market type investments. Uh, we've been pretty active in taking some money out because we thought something like what's happened in the last week or so may occur uh, and so we wanted to position your portfolio and everyone else's a little bit more conservatively. Now, what we thought might happen has happened. Uh, do we think that we need to make any more action or take any more action? No, uh, as with previous videos and as, as with previous conversations uh, that we've had with you, the, the most important thing is making sure you've got plenty of cash in the bank account term deposits, enhanced yield investments, those more defensive things uh, to continue living your life. So whether you're retired and you're drawing an income out or you're working and putting money in, we need to make sure there's enough money in those types of investments to see you through times like this. We've seen it time and time again. Who knows? Tomorrow morning it might be worse. Tomorrow morning it might be a whole lot better. I don't know. No one really knows what's going to happen in the short term. All we can do is prepare for events like this uh, and and when, when we feel that we adequately have. Now, if share markets continue to fall, uh, what we may likely do is turn around and some of those investments that we sold off over the last couple of months to position portfolios a bit more conservatively. We may actually look to take that money and go back and buy some cheaper share investments. For now, uh, we're not making that call, but it is something that's on the cards and something that you know both Paul, myself, or, and or Steph have been talking to you about. So. We don't want to take any action now. You know, we are watching what's going on, as I'm sure probably you are too. The worst thing that you can do at times like this is panic and sell uh, more of your shares like, like everyone else. We can't control share markets. We can only control the reactions or how we react to what happens with share markets. Uh, we've prepared for this. Uh, we'll write it out and possibly at some point look to do some selective buying. But for the time being, um, leave things as they are. Uh, if you do have any questions, please reach out to your advisor, whether it's me, whether it's Steph, whether it's Paul reach out and give us a call if you have something specific that you need to talk about. Thanks.